the reason I thought I'd share this with you is these cells are not the most common item out there and they're in a good price. They're easily to source from a, the supplier that I got these. They have them back in stock. I will leave a link to the cells down below. Uh, use the coupon code HOUSEDADLIFE and it's going to get you 5% off uh, if you do decide to order these things as well. All right, so this might be a little bit off topic for what's normally on the channel, but car audio is just as important to me as home audio. And that's where this puppy comes in. This is a lithium titanate, uh, 2.3 volt cells. And these puppies are an absolute beast if you're considering adding a battery for your car audio. Uh, this thing, I would put it right in the trunk of my car. I'd hook the amplifier right up to it. And uh, the power source to charge this thing would be a battery isolator, then just wired right to the battery. The reason why you want to put the isolator is in there is so that the two chemistries are separated. Additionally, you'll see all the uh, wires that are coming off of it, and that is to connect up a load balancing BMS. I'm using a Heltec BMS. If you decide to get the same one here, you do have to solder the pins on uh, those two sides, and that will be different than uh, how they come soldered. And that is just to make sure it works with the chemistry that we're talking about today. Building these things is super easy. They're very much like the Yinlong cells, except they're square, which would be really handy. You could easily, you don't have to lay it out this way. You could lay these out flat in a series setup. Uh, I've got six here in series, and that's probably what I would do for a car as well. That would be... I think it's better than the 5 series, it's going to be a little bit more of a voltage protection that, that you've got going on there. You also don't need this plug, I haven't been using it for that. Uh, I've actually been powering my spot welder and this thing will actually run my furnace as well if the power goes out and I've been using this thing on and off now for, oh man, it's got to be about a year and a year change. Anyway. The company is Battery Hookup, highly reputable, I've bought 1816. 18650 cells off of there as well and everything is exactly as advertised these batteries they say they're 20 amp and i tested them and they're actually a little bit higher than that nominal voltage for these is 2.8 and you can run them just right down to the dirt if you want to i don't think you'd ever take them down that far optionally you might also want to include a voltage gauge just so you can kind of see the voltage of this cell you can drain them real fast and you can charge them really fast. So that's the perk of these things. They're borderline capacitor. They charge and discharge way faster than uh, lithium uh, polymer or lithium ion cells. So for that application, I think they'd be pretty awesome. If I ever stick another amplifier in this car and uh, start bouncing the back down the street again, there'll surely be one of these sitting in the back just because it eliminates the need for me to run a massive cable to the back to power this, power the amplifier. I can power it instead right from here. This will take the large brunt of the loads. And then I, the isolator setup will just kind of keep this thing kind of topped off. The price for these things right now is 18 bucks per cell. I don't know if you're going to find lithium titanate cells for cheaper, especially from a reputable vendor. Plus, I've heard there's a lot of the uh, Yenlong cells are being knocked off and they're not actually as advertised. Battery hookup guarantees everything. If you buy them from there, you get uh, the assurance that it's from a US company and the cells will all test as advertised. Everyone has so far. And if you ever find one that doesn't, company is solid. They'll, uh, I'm sure they reimburse you or get you another one without any trouble at all. Shipping is good with them as well. Uh, for those wondering what the uh, dimensions of this cell are, it is, this is the finished pack. We got 5 inches by 4 inches tall. And the width is 4.5 inches. So they're really small. The individual cells are just, uh, just a shade over 3 quarter inch thick. So 
this would be very easy to incorporate. I, if I were to put it in a card, I wouldn't be putting it in, in this configuration. I would lay them all flat. And you could easily build a compartment for it on the back of a sub box or wherever you mount your amp. I think that would probably be the most convenient way to put it in there. It's secure then and uh, tidy and cleaned up. Not quite like the test battery I've had, but clearly you can see I've had no issues with it. So why change it if it ain't broken? <laughs> so that's the way I'm going with it. Anyway, I thought that was going to be beneficial to uh, some peeps out there doing car audio. Again, uh, 18 bucks per cell and 5% off for House Dad Life. Links uh, in the description. Now, on to the rest of what I normally do on this channel. Some of you have probably been wondering if I dropped off the face of the earth. My apologies. I have not. In the new year, which is now, <laughs> in the next little while, me and the wife are doing a vacation. We're going to uh, head down to Mexico here in the next little bit for a couple of weeks. When we get back, I'm getting the Zaf Audio SB 12.3. That kit's coming. I'm going to build it. It's not going to look nothing like the Uglis 420 and company there. I'm going to try my best to build it right to spec, exactly the way uh, Zaf has his kit. I'm going to document everything. That's all going to be coming up on this channel in the near future. And I'm trying to work out a little deal with Mattisound in case anybody else wants to follow suit with this build and build your own. We're going to see if I can swing a deal for the rest of you guys.